to stay mindful, you need a frame of reference. Because once you've got the right frame of reference, then it's obvious what needs to be done. So notice when the Buddha has your practice right mindfulness, he starts with the body in and of itself, literally the body in the body. This is not the body in the world. If that were your frame of reference, then you'd have to worry about how your body looks, whether it's strong enough to do the work that needs to be done in the world. All the issues that have to do with having a body in the world, which is what we normally do. That's what becoming is all about, using the body in the world to get what we want, based on what we think is good in the world. But if you cut the world out of the picture, it's not the body in and of itself. The issues are different. What is it like to have a body right here, right now? You've got the breath coming and going out. We'll focus on the breath. And you begin to notice that has an effect on the mind. It creates feelings of pleasure or disease, depending on how you breathe. And that gives you a whole different set of duties. As the Buddha said, put aside greed and distress with reference to the world. Any reference to the world right now, just put it aside. You would have just the breath and the issues of the breath. Make them your only consideration right now. And the good thing about having the breath as your frame of reference is then you can take it with you wherever you go. No matter where you are in the world, you've still got your original frame of reference, just the breath in and of itself. And all the lessons that you've learned as you've stayed with the breath will be there as well. This is one of our main problems as meditators. We learn a lesson and a little while later we've forgotten it. We learn something new and we forget the old things. You have to remember some of the old things that you learned really are still useful. Otherwise you keep finding yourself learning the same lesson over and over again and wondering if you'll ever learn. But if you can take those lessons and stash them away in the breath, then the association of simply being with the breath will bring them to mind. So regardless of where you are in the world, you're still with the body in and of itself, the breath in and of itself, and all the issues that go with dealing with the breath on those terms will be right there. This is one of the ways in which mindfulness and meditation become more and more continuous. Because even when you forget, just take a breath and you're right back, right here. 